On today's episode of Usher Enjoys Nature, we've come to Arches and Canyonlands National... What? Oh, park. Okay. Uh, when you're in Arches, you're at the home of Delicate Arch, the third most famous arch in the world behind the St. Louis and Noah's. But when you're in Canyonlands, you're also surrounded by a splendor of impressive rock formations. So let's get out there and start exploring Utah's rugged and rocky wilderness and see if we can find some... I'm getting really dizzy. ...for ourselves. My name is Ashwin, and I'm a seasoned nature expeditioner. From my vast experiences, I've gained a wealth of knowledge that I will now pass on to you. From caving in New Zealand to discovering wild animals in Africa, from the coldest corners in Alaska to the hottest deserts in Texas, I'll bring you along on my journey through this planet we call Earth, because this is Ashwin Enjoys Nature. When you first enter Arches National Park, you'll notice two things. Throngs of people to make you really nervous while filming, and a rocky landscape dominated by a rich red color. While we usually think of rock as being brown or white or multiracial, Utah is overwhelmingly red. But how does this rock become red? See, water beneath the surface of the rock precipitates iron onto the rocks, and when the rock is completely covered in iron, it begins to rust as the iron comes in contact with oxygen. And it's that rust which produces this stark red color. So whenever you stumble upon rustic red rocks, you know you're in an area brimming with water and oxygen. There are faces, there are faces, there are faces in the rock. There are faces, there are faces, there are faces in the rock. Can you pan faster? Man, that would be a fun rock to climb. Many people don't know this, but rock climbing is actually an acronym, just like scuba diving or laser tag. The first letter in rock is R, which stands for reach. If we want to be able to scale up these walls, we're going to have to be able to reach upwards. So here are some exercises that you can do to strengthen your reach. Reach for the sky. Jump real high. Tie your arms to a car and drive. Grow your reach. Reach for your feet. Stand in line and order a tea. Stretch your arms. Help a short mom. Try to ask out a girl and bomb. Are, are you here alone? I'm sorry? Uh, uh, n never mind, never mind, never mind. Reach for the sky. Jump real high. Try to ask out the girl again. Well, I... Oh, never mind, never mind. Oh, fuck. I hate myself, I hate myself, I hate myself, I hate myself. Now the second letter in the word rock climbing is O, for orifice. If we ever want to pull ourselves up, we're going to have to reach for an orifice and grab a grip. And now we're one step closer to rock climbing. <laughs> oh hey, didn't see you there. The last and most important letter of the word rock is C, for climb. We can't get anywhere if we don't know how to climb. So always remember, reach an orifice and climb. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm going to rock climb this rock. Oh fuck, a nail. There are faces, there are faces, there are faces in the rock. There are faces, there are faces, there are faces in the rock. While taking a well-earned break from rock climbing, I finally laid eyes on the namesakes of this park, arches. According to the Natural Arch and Bridge Society, an actual nature society formed in 1988 that, judging from their website, was last active in 1988, a natural arch must exhibit the following characteristics. Made of rock, exposed to air, have a hole, below 100 decibels, and be an invertebrate. People from all over the world visit these natural arches that are hardly seen anywhere else on Earth. So these rare and bizarre formations must have a mind-blowing explanation for how they form. No, I, I can't do a monologue right now. It's 107 degrees. I need a break in the shade. <sighs> like, why don't you bring water? The signing star of arches is Delicate Arch. Delicate Arch has cycled through several apt descriptive names throughout its history, from the cowboy's chaps, to the old maid's bloomers, to the spread legs of a whore, finally to the ambiguous delicate arch. There are faces, there are faces, there are faces in the rock. There are faces, there are faces, there are faces in the rock. Well, that's it for this episode of Us. Ah, oh, shit! I forgot Canyonlands. Uh, uh, here's a canyon, I saw a crow, <laughs> faces in the rock. Well, that's it for this episode of Ushman Enjoys Nature, and though Utah's hotter than a...
I can truly say that I enjoyed this nature.